I've always been very introverted, but I recently got a girlfriend and now I have trouble handling all the emotions I've been feeling recently. I've gotten more confident, but it doesn't make me more talkative. When I'm with her or with a family member or a friend, I can't find anything to say. I'm scared that she might get tired of how quiet I am, and I feel guilty making her do all the talking when we are together. I just feel like I have nothing to say. Nothing comes to mind. It just goes blank. I don't know what to do to improve my conversation skills. Any advice? Mm. That is... uh... I I don't know. My advice is not going to come off nice. I know that much. Uh, let's go with Jamie first. We'll come. Uh, I'll, we'll bring it down. Me and this person need to freaky Friday our personalities halfway, like where I shut the fuck up half the time, and they take half the talking. You need to. It might be great. Is this is a dude who's in a heterosexual relationship? It. They did not specify, but that's what it reads like. So based on that. Women love to be listened to, so she might you might be turning her on like, ooh, he's listening to everything I'm saying by not talking. So this might actually, specifically in the confines of like a romantic relationship, a heterosexual romantic relationship, if it is a girl you're with, I'm making big stereotypes, but generally this could really work in your favor because being a good listener is great. That being said, you do need to be able to bring something to the table in conversations. And maybe, I wonder if it's just with the girlfriend. Because if it's just with the girlfriend and not with other people, like... She's not the one for you. I wonder, yeah, like if, if you're not interested in talking to her, then maybe she's not... I have dated uh, before in the last couple decades, unlike Jamie. Um, I have dated. I dated in 2013. Okay, so I've dated within the last 10 years. And uh, I will say there are times that I have gone out on dates with people and I have had nothing to say to them. And I realize it's because I don't have, we didn't have, we didn't click. We didn't have that, you know? And sometimes that's just what it is. And I can talk to people pretty easily, but sometimes you just run out of shit to say because you don't mesh well with that person. And I think this sucks for you, buddy, but kind of sounds like this isn't the one for you, but I could be wrong, but I'm never wrong. And uh, I'm right. And (laughs) I, I'm sorry that you have to hear it, but I think think based on the way that was worded though, that it's also maybe a confidence issue. Like it sounds like he might be socially awkward with more than just her. Well, I'm only going off what they said, right? So, and I get so being socially awkward. I can I can be that with the best of them, but there are times where like and the worst, you know what the worst part about it? I do feel for the guy because there are times where I've been in conversations where I'm like, "Oh shit, I got nothing to say." You stop listening to the person because in your head you're like, "All right, Andrew, think of something to say. Uh, what do you what should you talk about?" And then you like see a black, you just see nothing. You just see blackness. You're like, you can't think of anything, and you're just like sitting there, like uh, think of anything. Uh, nice shoes. Uh, you know, it's awful. It stinks, and it's not fun. And I think. I honestly think it probably makes it hard for him to listen to her, even if you ask me. But um, at least in my experience, whenever I've been in that situation, that's it's hard for me to listen because I'm just scrambling to think of anything. Um, yeah, but it'll seem like he's listening. That's what I meant. I don't know if he actually is. And if she tests him on it, then he's in trouble. He could be screwed. Maybe as a maybe a little co- a cocktail helps because there's also been dates where we first meet up it's awkward we're not really saying much and then we each have a drink or two and then we're like blah 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 the whole time you know uh a little liquid courage never hurt anybody but you want to know what it's like sober like i would always start with a coffee date because i'm like i want to know if you can talk yeah i don't know i mean i don't i try not to go get hammered with the person the very first time we hang out that's like a fifth date kind of thing maybe a third this guy needs to generally because i think what you just described about like thinking what to say don't you wouldn't you say that happens when you're uncomfortable the more uncomfortable you are the more that happens um you're comfortable if you're with zod that's not happening that has really for a second well i've my, my brain i'm a psycho uh if you haven't figured that out yet 
uh, I just my brain is, know. it's always move. It's always going like this. And I'm, I, I have to focus. I have to try to focus on every conversation or I lose it. Like I, my brain's always moving and I'm stupid and I get headaches just from like trying to do one thing. I'm uh, I got this ADD or something awful. Well, and you I and this think. guy need to trust yourself a little bit more to just like, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to make a joke or you can just like, just, I think with this guy specifically, A, she might not be the right girl. So maybe it's just about her. But if it's a bigger thing than that, just, just work on yourself. Because I feel like the more comfortable you are, the less awkward that you'll feel. And I know that that's not like a quick solution. That's like a lifelong process. I barely, I have like this much more confidence than I used to with like so much effort, but it's worth it. It's the best feeling in the world to know it's grown, but I'm so far from confident. I'm, I'm still talking about the bunions that one weirdo on the internet wrote about two weeks ago. You know, we all of our, we we're all insecure, but the, the more you work on yourself, the better your other relationships are going to be, including with this lady or not with this lady. 